Communion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It means oh, you must be common union. Fellowship. Partnership. Participation. Contribution. Community or communal living. Or brotherhood. Or sharing. Or binding. It is to share Christ's life. Only that it will be a Christian. It was to, to share his nature. Only that it will be a share. It is to share his purpose. That it will be a redeemer. For the past two, three weeks now, we are in talking about what they call born again. I think so, the party that will be. We need to examine this common salvation. We need to be able to see it clearly. We need to examine it and be sure before we die. It's not enough for us to be born again. When the whole stuff has already returned back to you, when the world is at variance with what is said, no matter for the past two weeks now, we talk about. About what is said you are just calling some people to church because you don't have personal encounter with Christ. So maybe it's not it. We may have a name in our register. We may identify you because you have become for some reason. But the level your name is not there. That is why it is difficult for which is something that we get to go. That is why it is difficult. So give me that. For this with husband and wife, to live your life, you know, when you take his life, they die. There are some powers, they cannot cohabit with the blood of Jesus and the flesh of Jesus Christ. I speak to somebody, whatever that is making your Christianity to look like a fake one. I want to tell you some benefits of Holy Communion. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And I think we to explain to you what is the purpose of the Just come and take something and go and you will see your life will never really be saved. If a Christian that is finding you come to stop lying, or a Christian that is finding you come to stop gossiping, yes, yes, serious traffic of gossip in this church. But communion we keep it today. You are not saying that. We have the 
It is devil that causes. It is devil that causes. When you drink the flesh, and you drink your drunk wine, what you say? You are dominating the flesh. The same the devil. You are noticing that there is blood on your doorposts. Glory, I tell you by there that your house is in so go area. Another thing, the power, which is the benefit, you remember his love for you. And the defeat of the devil. Look at verse 25 of that same place. 25. After the same manner also, he took it up. When he has stopped saying, this cup is the new testament of in my blood. This to me, as often as he drink it, in the membrane. What I you remember? You remember that Jesus defeated sin. So it reminds you of all that Jesus did on the cross. For you to have deep revelation of his death, of his beating and suffering. To remember what he did to free you from poverty, from years, and from sin. When you hit the flesh, you design the body of Christ. You design the body of Christ. You design it. You understand it. You will know which one is the truth, which one is false. What is the consequence of this? You will be able to have the sense of assignments. Concerning the weakness of the body, the death of the body, you stop judging people. You understand clearly. You stop avoiding resentments. Look at it again in Proverbs 27. Wherefore, Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of blood on what did they shall be given of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh on one day, the fellow may not die immediately. The reason why it is difficult for you to stop lying, the reason why it is difficult for you to stop fighting in the church, is just because maybe in the past you have you have eaten the flesh of one day. When you continue in the sacredness of God with your sin in you, you will graduate in the wrong side. You will not get time to what they call apostasy. When you get to apostasy, it will be difficult for you to understand the truth again. When you get to the year of apostasy, you tell the telling story that I was here before they started the church over the room. We are this, we know this, we know this. We are not controlling this. Nothing can happen. And if I have forgotten, there is a day is coming where it was. The fellow has forgotten. That he just appeared for a while. He was like a flower. Many are going to apostasy. The Bible says, He said, The one that is not going to be pulled, and I am that witness, who is holding the pen. So when you take it from what did they do? You know you are not ready to stop sinning. But if you don't take it, since you are one of the leaders, You are one of the coordinators, you are one of the choir, you are one of the worship, you are one of the pastors. And you are saying yourself to the people who ask you why. And you are eating this on what you are. And you know, whatever you are, you accept the apostasy. 
be difficult for you to come back. And that is why when you hear messages, there are people who be crying. Songs will be too gone. We have seen cases where a word of God was coming. People are practically crying in church. But after we share the grace, at the end, you see two sisters fighting. They are better to apostasy. They know people that are bigger than us in faith. They have opportunity to meet great men of God. Iwanikan, 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 I